Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to make smaller PDF files. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 1,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So let's say you have a document and you create a PDF file from it and you need to submit it online or through some other process for business or for school. The file is big. In this case my example is just 9.5 megs. But let's say there is an upload limit of 5 megs or something like that. You need to make it smaller. A quick way to do that is to open it up in Preview. Just double click it and it should open up in Preview. And then you can go to File, you can go to Export, and then from there you can choose under Quartz Filter Reduce File Size. And then let's save this. And you can see instead of 9.5 megs it's now only 202K. That's a dramatic difference. So what changed? Well let's take a look at this PDF document. Let's zoom in here on this image and you can see how high resolution it is. But if we look at this document here and we zoom in we can see it compressed the image quite a bit. You don't have as much resolution in there now. That's how I got the savings. Almost all of the time when a PDF document is really big it's because the image is in it. The text really doesn't take up much space. It's the images. In this case we've got three high resolution images so it's no surprise it's almost 10 megs in size. By using Preview's Quartz Filter Compression we can compress all of the images inside it easily. And this creates a smaller file but at lower resolution. A better way to do it would be to go back to the original source document. So in this case it's Pages. You can open it up here in Pages and we can edit it. Maybe you made your document in Microsoft Word or InDesign or something else. The same rules apply. You can go in and edit the document and let's make the images inside of it smaller. Now ideally you want to have all of the images from the document somewhere where you can access them. Maybe a folder that you created and you stored all the images there. But if you didn't don't worry about it too much because you can go to Format, Image in the right sidebar and you'll see File Info and you'll see the name of the file there with a little icon next to it. You could drag that out to export the image right from the Pages document to the Finder. So I'm going to do that for each one of these. And let's get this last one. And now I've got each one of these files here exported at full resolution. Now let's open up the first one. If I double click it it will open up in Preview. Now in Preview I can go to File, Export. And from there I can set the format to JPEG and set the quality to something smaller. The smaller the file size the more compressed it is. It's not going to look as good. But I'm not going to be able to get it down too much smaller. A better way to do it is to first adjust the size to make it appropriate for the document. If I click on I here I could see that this is 4,000 pixels across. Which is great if you want the full resolution image, if you want to print it out on a high resolution printer. But if you're just viewing it in a PDF document on a computer screen then it's probably overkill. So you can go to Tools, Adjust Size and let's adjust the size down. I'm going to set this to inches. And remember the document was just a regular document so 8.5 inches across with some margins. It's about 7.5 inches across and the image is stretched all the way across the page. So 7.5. Let's set the width to 7.5 inches. If the image was only using say half the width of the page then maybe I could set this to 4 inches. Make it even smaller. Now resolution would be something like 300 pixels for it to look good in printing or if you want to zoom in. But since we want to compress this a lot we want to make some sacrifices here. and We're going to set it to a low resolution of 72 pixels. This should still look passable when viewed on a computer screen. But you can see the file size is much smaller. Down from 2.9 megs to 87K. All by going to a smaller width and resolution. I'll click OK and you can see how much smaller the file is there. Let's go to View Actual Size. So this is at 100%. It doesn't look that bad. Let's go to File now and Export and also select JPEG and set the quality down and let's get the file size of something like 20K. And let's export it out. I'm going to save it with another name like that. And now we get this file here. If I open it up you can see the quality definitely is worse. Going from 80K to 20K definitely took its toll. But perhaps it's fine for what you need. If not you could have gone with something like around 40K and see if that works for you. Now I'm going to do the same for these two images here.
So now I've got three very compressed versions of the originals here. I can get rid of these guys and I'm just going to use these. Back in Pages I can go to my first image here, select it, and then click Replace. And I'm going to select the image there, the compressed one. You can see how the quality goes down right away with the newer image. I'm going to select this one, Replace, and then finally this one and Replace. So now let's export this out. So I'm going to go File, Export to PDF. Now here's the trick. You might think, well, I can get even more compression by going to Good or Better. But these images are already super compressed. We reduce the size and we compress the heck out of them using JPEG compression. Anything with Good or Better is just going to try to recompress them. And it's actually not going to get anything more out of them. It may even make the file size a little bit bigger trying to do that. Using Best though won't try to recompress them at all. It's going to use them as is. We already have them optimized. So let's select Best here. Now let's export this out there and let's get info on this. And You can see we're now down to 168K. So we did even better. One of the best things about this technique is you didn't need to use the same level of compression for each image. So for instance maybe you wanted this one being the first image in the document to look better. So instead of going down to 20K maybe we could have gone to 40K. Or maybe instead of, instead of 72 pixels per inch and 7.5 inches we could have done 150 pixels or more per inch at 7.5 inches across to make this one higher resolution while still keeping these pretty low resolution. You can play around with each one individually. And the idea is the same no matter which app you're using. Simply use really compressed images instead of the highest resolution ones when you start or replace the ones you have if you've already created it. It could work that way in Word or in InDesign or any app that you're using to build a document. And keep in mind there are also other things you can do in the document. For instance if it really doesn't matter what the size is if I were to shrink this over here it would look a lot better at a smaller size since there are fewer pixels and it's higher compression here. So, you know, having it be like this, if that's fine for your document, might be the better option. As a matter of fact, another technique you can use is to simply shrink the dimensions of an image. If you are exporting using best quality, it's always going to export the image as is. It doesn't matter what size it is on the page. But if you're going to use good or better, your results are different. So I'm going to set this to good. And then I'm going to export this and then I'm going to get a document that's 228K. But if I were to take this image here and shrink it and maybe do the same for these as well, shrink them down to something that's acceptable for whatever your use is, now when it compresses them it takes this size into account and it will make an image that's appropriate for these dimensions instead of stretching all the way across the page. So I'll export to PDF here. Let's make sure it's set to Good so it's going to compress. Remember Best is not going to compress it at all. Good or Better will. And now let's export this. And then if we look at the size of this document instead of 228 we get 154 because it's able to do better compression knowing that the size of the image is smaller on the page. You also want to think about other kinds of media in your document. For instance if I create a shape and maybe I put a circle in here. That's just a solid color. But you know, if I start doing things like making it be an advanced gradient fill like that and I export well then that's going to have to be converted to an image in the PDF and it's going to take up more space. You can see just by adding this in here right now if I export to PDF and I have the image quality set to best you can see this document here goes up about 20K in size just for this circle because it has a gradient in it like that. Try to avoid the extraneous use of graphics and shapes and all of that inside your documents if getting them under a certain size is a big concern. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.